Okay, hey nerds. It's now time to take a look at the next banner that's coming. Yay! Focus banner. Let's see which characters there are. Of course, I've enabled my mouse so we can look through things and poke things. I'm sure that'll go really well. Alrighty, so let's buckle in. This one's called Performance Art. Or Performance Arts. Artists? Something like that. Anyways, let's see what we have. <laughs> Fire Emblem Heroes! And it's called... Oh? Performing on a grand stage. Well, I'm guessing this is not a special heroes to battle. What we got? Festival dancer. Let's dance. Oh, Olivia! Cool. Oh, what? Are you a throwing weapon expert? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Adjacent allies recover 7 HP after combat. Also... Okay, enemy suffers. Yeah, typical, typical throwing weapon. But, dancer. Interesting. So we have a dancing unit that allows you to... That's a colorless dance unit. That's cool. I'm always fine with that. Distant defense. I mean, that's always a good ability to have, especially for something like that. Uh, I don't see why not. And then finally, oh, blaze dance. So basically, we're getting a strange little mixture of dances and dancers who will do... Okay. Alright, that sounds pretty good. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm okay with this. Uh, I, I, we needed more dancers, we needed more variants on them, and, you know, a colorless throwing weapon dancer is interesting, to say the least. Uh, and Blaze Dance seems cool. I don't know if it's going to be usable, though. It depends. I mean, I I know some of you might be going, what? Why? But, well, just because usually it's kind of hard to tell um, when it, when it, unless it's, you know, it needs, usually these kind of buffs need to be a little bit higher than a, than a hone, but still, nonetheless, that's going to be a very fascinating ability to have on a dancing unit or singing unit, I guess. So let's, let's see. I love this music, by the way. I mean, Olivia looks great. I really do enjoy that. Indigo Dancer. A dance oh! For you. It's Indigo, of all the characters. That makes sense. Dancer's Ring. Um, alright. The all- they all have dance? Are you serious right now? This is ridiculous. Are they- I mean, I guess it makes sense. So, yes. Indigo, um... Uh, all right, Dancer's Ring. If unit initiates attack, adjacent allies recover seven health after, I mean, okay, so basically Breath of Life is going to be the essential weapon for all of these, but this is a green tome unit that has the ability. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. All righty, well, Gale Dance. Same thing as Blaze Dance, but now has speed plus four and a Hone Attack three. That's, that's fantastic, and this time it's... That's just insane. What the hell? Oh, okay then. That that's that's fantastically fantastically neat. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Of course, Inigo would be added like that. That's Lady of Ballads. Uh, probably Azura. Yep, there's Azura. Oh, she's an axe unit. Good. Hopefully, a strong one. Oh. Oh, she has a legendary axe. If singer dances use target also granted. Excuse me. Uh, okay, we need to have a talk here. Um, what? <laughs> Excuse me. Triangle add up three. Sing is of course. This is. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. That's a. Uh... That's a legendary weapon made to be, I mean, that is, that you ever wanted to use a blade tome more effectively without having to bring someone who could just do that? There you go. You have someone who can buff all of your stats in an instant with sing or dance. I mean, granted, it's a legendary weapon and it's only going to be available to Azura, but still, that is, that's insane. That's insane. But I also like it. I really do. Uh, and of course, Drive Res 2. I mean, if you ever need a really good mage uh, counter, this would probably be a good idea to have. Uh, 
It's it. I mean, granted, Rez's and Drive are kind of eh, at times. I'm a little worried about, but still, it's it's a wider spur in a sense, and that's just amazing. So that is probably the one unit to want you want to look for is of course Azura, of all characters. Of course, it's Azura. Why not? Alrighty. And that looks like she has quite a beefy attack as well, but again, against a blue mitt and dark sky singer. I'd like to sing my heart out. And Shigure. Alright, a blue tone unit by the looks of things. Uh okay. Oh, alright. Uh dancer's shoes, the same sort of thing. Um sing. Uh fit, fitting. And what? Blue tone valor. You have blue tone valor of all the characters. Uh Geyser Dance 2. That's interesting. And of course, Sing, and you know, I that one seems a little bit more useful in how it works because it buffs both defense and resistance. That could be useful for some characters who, you know, you want to have more tankiness to, and that's definitely a lot better than some of the other dances, but still, God, these are all characters based around uh <laughs> I mean, I guess this is technically the Halloween um, banner, which is kind of fitting. Everyone's dark and mysterious in this one. Um, yeah, that's that's amazing. Okay, I'm I'm game. I'm cool with any unit that can. And Shigure looks really good in this game too. I mean, I like it a lot. And of course, we have a new paralog coming as well. There's Azura and Shigure as well. All right, so that starts on the 29th. Um, that's going to be very, very interesting. And I'm really happy to see Shigure and Inigo are brought in as well. Um, just to make sure that I, uh, let's, let's go and let's talk about every unit since we can. Festival Dancer, of course. Olivia's here. Let's dance. And she, of course, is a throwing star unit or, you know, throwing unit, dagger unit, whatever you want to call it. In this case, it's just throwing a dancer's fan at people, which is cool. I mean, I'm gl <laughs> I'm I'm not too certain about this, mostly because of how throwing units work. I'm hoping Olivia will have a bit more beef to it, but the thing is, based on what I'm seeing here, from what I can tell, of course, um, you can kind of see that she doesn't do that much damage, but then again, not fully leveled, and we can't really tell. Indigo Dancer, um... Now, in a go, that's going to be fun. That's going to be really interesting. Um, Dancer's Ring, of course. I'm sure someone may not <laughs> may not agree and put a different tome on it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how his stats work out. On this one, he seems to be hitting fairly decently hard. But uh, the ones to really look out, of course, are Azura. Um, that's just... That's just insane. Okay. Just because of her weapon, it's interesting. It's, it, I, I mean, it doesn't look like an axe, but it makes sense, I guess. Um, if I were to, like to sing my heart out somewhere. and Shigure, of course, is voiced by Matt Mercer. All right, Geyser Dance, and of course the Blue Tome Valor, which we haven't had before. But all of these units, um, I will tell you right now that this banner right here is probably going to be pretty valuable in some ways because of many things but mostly because every single unit is a dancer of some variety not only that but um, if I were to say the weakest right now Olivia seems pretty odd just because of the odd typing I'm not so sure about daggers just saying um, from there I would probably say Inigo and uh, Shigure, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. Granted, he's going up against a disadvantage here in his example, so we can't really tell. And they're not properly leveled up. Usually they aren't. So we'll have to wait for the stats for these. But, you know, these two are going to be interesting because Tome units who can also dance are pretty fascinating and something that I could see being very, very vital in the end game. But mostly, these all, all of these units are going to be really good because, well... <laughs> well, not really good. They're going to be useful, and that's mostly because, well, they're all singers or dancers, which is insane. Um, but the main unit that we're probably going to be wanting to look out for, of course, is good old Azura here, who is obviously doing her Nor impression, at least, from the game. 
but there's no groans of discomfort for me here, guys. I mean, that's pretty cool. And her legendary weapon, of course, is fascinating. So, I don't know how viable it's going to be, but uh, it's definitely going to be one of the more fascinating weapons out there because a lot of characters can't... I mean, that's basically all stats increased um, without any sort of disadvantage. You know, there's no fury here to... <laughs> You know, there's no damage afterwards. The only thing is you do need a song and a dance to activate it. Or song and dance, or dance, not and, but still. My god, this is... This is going to be really crazy to watch. I'm really glad that they they didn't go straight Halloween this time. I'm glad that they pulled out some concepts that, uh, you know, I... I'm really glad to see Inigo here, that's crazy. Really glad to, of course, see Shigure as well, and they all look pretty good. So I hope you guys are excited for this as much as I am, because this comes out tomorrow. We'll be doing a summoning session, of course, and anyone who wants to uh, join in on that will be welcome to. Uh, of course, um, that's that's just so much. I mean, my God. So um, I'm glad that they're doing the bus with the dances. I, I will wait and see how everyone works out when it comes to stats, though. Um... You know, typically Olivia and, you know, them were pretty beefy. Ninian, I mean, Ninian, uh, Olivia, they've been mainstays for my team and things like that. So it's great to have all these characters that are additional options. And we finally have a dancer who has, I mean, Azura's probably going to be the end-all, be-all of dancers right now. At least that one. Um, that's crazy. So... Yeah, tell me what you guys think. Put them in the comments below. I'm ready to go. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'm out. Woo!